Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I wanted to do a Kim inspired makeup look. I wanted to talk about her contouring and highlighting um, techniques, which personally, that's the way I think I would do. And looking at the picture, I've tried my best to sort of uh, get near to her look. So I hope that I've, I've been able to do some kind of a justice to the look. So to actually the contouring and highlighting, not the look. Do keep in mind that when a lot of people say Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look, people think that, oh, at the end, the person is going to actually look like Kim Kardashian. You cannot unless you actually resemble her. Like if you see Kim's face and my face, I have totally different features. She naturally has a very thin heart shape face. While me, on the other hand, I've got more on the round side. So sometimes the makeup techniques, what probably has been used on her, would not work on certain faces according to the face shape. So please bear that in mind and do not expect that at the end of the video I'm going to look like Kim Kardashian because I cannot. I have my own features. So that's why it's inspired look. So if you want to see how to get this contour and highlight technique, Please keep watching. Okay, beauty, so I'm gonna start with my Smashbox Photo Finish Color Corrector. And this is basically used for just correcting out your skin if you have like dark areas or blemishes. So it's an, it sort of evens out your skin tone. So you just take a little bit and you just put it on your skin like so. I've already moisturized my skin. So for this Kim look, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and I'm going to use the medium shade. And what I'm going to do is basically, I have dark circles so I need to sort of minimize my dark areas. And for that I'm going to use this peachy, orangey corrector color. So I'm going to take my concealer brush, this is by Makeup Addiction, I'm going to put this under my eyes like so and probably if you have any more dark areas if you feel like you have some other areas that you need to work on so you can just simply apply it now using the same brush I'm just going to dab it with a very soft stroke just dabbing it Now taking a beauty blender, you're just going to blend the peachy corrector. As you can see, it already brings in a lot of brightness. It makes your skin even. Make sure your beauty blender is damp, otherwise it's not going to blend. Take the big round side and just blend it like this on the top. This is Makeup Forever HD foundation and my shade is 53 so I'm just going to pump one and a half. A stippling brush but this is a small one, doesn't matter, you can just use whatever you have. And we're just going to blend it like that. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender again. Then whatever is left on the beauty blender, you just use it on your ears so that it doesn't look like it's not a part of your face. So we're going to use a big fluffy brush and I'm using Studio Fix NC30 just to fix up my foundation. So I'm just going to use it on the outside. Right, so we're going to come to contouring now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dark shade. What shade is this? This is cinnamon. I'm going to just 
make a fish face. Starting from your hairline. Give it a like that. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna do the same for my jawline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bronze out my face and contour the areas which I feel like she has darkened up. So over here, we're going to use over here. Then taking again the fiber duo brush. I'm gonna blend these lines. You, again, blend this in the hairline so that it doesn't look like it's been forced on your skin. And you take it up, you don't take it down, otherwise it's going to be very low. So. Now we're going to come to the fun part, the highlighting part. So we're going to take this banana cream shade. So now the whole game is the highlighting. Let's start. So she goes all the way down over here. It's like super highlighted. All the way down like that. So that it's like a big triangle, you can see, which is touching your hairline from here. And there is a little and this has to be like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's do it on the chin. That's the highest point. I like to do it over here a little bit. Then of course your forehead goes like that. And the tip of your nose. I'll stop over here. So at the end, you should look something like this. <laughs> so using the beauty blender, you're going to start blending it. So once this is done, what we're going to do is I'm going to fix my highlighter. Using my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Kit, so I'm going to blend as I always do this banana shade with the Sephora Highlight Banana. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender only. So first I'm going to take the banana shade. So once we are done with the cream contour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shade and light contour palette and I'm going to use a small contour brush and I'm going to use this light brown shade just on the top just to give it a little bit of color, not too much. I'm going to personally press this area in order to sort of have uh, Kim's face shape. Uh, because her face is really narrow from this side and I don't have that because my bones are broad So we're just gonna try to give an illusion of thin face So do remember guys that 
you can do all these things but keeping it in a limit you can only go to a certain extent if you go too overboard i think it becomes really obvious that you've tried really hard to sort of create your jawline or you know create like a cheekbone so just go very smooth now i'm gonna take my rocketeur bronzer okay for the nose contour so i'm just gonna take this brown a little bit and just do like a little bit, not too much. So you're going to take it and blend it with your brow. And then you're going to wipe off the brush and then try to just uh, sort of blend this line. We don't want a very prominent line. Now I'm going to use blush. This is Pink Swoon by MAC. It's a very nice bright pink color and I'm going to use a blush brush. So just going to take a little bit and use it on the apples of my cheek. So now the thing with using blush on the apples is sometimes it gets really tricky. What you need to do is when you smile, you just have to make sure that you use it a little bit higher than your actual uh, cheek. I'll show you. So I'm going to take it on the top and use it on the top. I'm going to use my So Hollywood highlighter. Take a small precision brush. This is actually a lip brush which I'm going to use for my lips. So what I'm doing is my Cupid's bow. We are using a lot of highlighter over here so stress little ball little ball. Little then taking a big front brush I'm just going to sort of lightly dust the shadow like this down And here you go! I hope this was a little bit of help to a lot of people who are like hardcore fan of Kim Kardashian's highlighting and contour techniques. So this is what I think personally, this is the way she goes on. Her con more than contouring, I think her highlighting is super strong. That is what makes her features really stand out. Don't forget to watch Kim Kardashian's inspired makeup look too, in which I've actually tried to do the look that you can see on the screen right now and i will try to bring it as near as possible because the thing is that um she's not looking down so you can't really see what's really happening on the eyes but you know we'll just try it out and see so guys i'm gonna see you in kim makeup look part two till then you take good care of yourself stay safe and stay Beautiful. Bye, guys.